Hi everyone, my name is Chad Uverman from King Heating Products. Today I want to introduce you to our revised, updated EcoKing Supreme Boiler. We still have the same sizes of boilers, a 99,000 BTU combi or H model, 140 and 200,000 BTU models. That doesn't change. Some of the aspects of the inside of the boiler did change. As a lot of you know, we've been manufacturing since 2018 and selling a version of this boiler since 2010. We've sold well over 25,000 units across Canada in multiple environments, cold weather environments, you name it. The product's extremely durable and reliable and with our new updated version, we're increasing the reliability and durability of the product. Fold down the front cover, we have even easier access to every part that's inside the boiler. We now have a brass hydro block with our customary Grunfoss ultra durable, ultra reliable pump. The position of the Grunfoss pump changed from the middle of the boiler to the right hand side. It actually gives you easier access to disassemble and service in the future if required. Our gas valve has moved from the right hand side of the boiler to the left hand side over here. Very easy to access just like it was in the past. One of the major differences besides the layout of our hydro, new hydro block is that instead of having two sensors like we did in the past for pressure and temperature, we now have four sensors. Might sound like a negative, but in my opinion, it's actually a positive. This way, it's easier to diagnose because essentially, you can look at the pressure sensor and make sure that's functioning properly. And now you have an individual temperature sensor for return heating temperature. On the other side, you have a domestic flow turbine which measures the flow of domestic water, so you can individually gauge and assess if that's functioning properly. Also, a domestic temperature sensor, same thing. So in other words, to me, it makes the, what our boiler was great at in the past, serviceable, easily accessible for a service technician. I think we've upgraded that and actually made it even better for you. We still do also have an internal expansion tank inside, perfect for very small systems such as an air handler. On your larger systems, like in the past, you should add an external expansion tank. One more change is the connections on the bottom. From a lot of customer feedback, we used to have a copper pipe size where you would have to solder on. We decided to change our fittings, all of them, to three quarter inch NPT connections. From again, from customer feedback, they wanted that to make the installation easier for them. Second thing we've done on the bottom is our connections are straight across in a line. We think that makes it easier again for people to install the product. They used to be staggered, which means the pipes would cross a little bit. This is easier. The one major difference again is the two inside connections are in parallel with the others. And we have a dedicated supply and dedicated return when you have an H model with an indirect boiler. That means you have a dedicated supply to the indirect right here and dedicated return from the indirect right here. In the past, we used to have to tie this return in with the return of this one. We made it easier. You have a dedicated connection now for the indirect return.